Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow Effects once again, and in this video, I'm going to just quickly go over the quick installation of our new DaVinci Pro profiles for the Stream Deck XL device, a global version for the Macintosh system. Now, as you may know, we have a DaVinci Pro for the Stream Deck XL device already. The difference between our existing XL pack and this new global version is that unlike the existing pack, our global version does not use keyboard shortcuts to drive the commands to control your DaVinci Resolve application. Instead, it uses menu system actions through the use of command post software. Now, what does that mean? It means you are not tied to having to use our keyboard shortcut file. So you can continue to use your own modified and customized keyboard shortcut file and this profile will continue to work for you. In addition, you can use any keyboard language layout you choose. As you're probably aware, our existing Pro Profiles for the Stream Deck XL device requires you to either use an English, a German, or a French keyboard layout because the keyboard shortcuts in that pack were built with those keyboard language layouts. Now, I'll just demonstrate how that gets affected. Here I've got a keyboard layout right now. Currently I have the uh, an English layout loaded. You can see it's a, you, we refer to it as these keys here, QWERTY, so this would be uh, these keys here, and you'll see these keys will change. If I switch to a French, it's now a ZERTY instead of QWERTY. So the keys will change around depending on what keyboard language you're using. We go to German, you can see we have a quartz layout. So that just demonstrates that keys will shift around so if you use a different keyboard language than what we have programmed it for some commands are not going to be working correctly with our global version that doesn't matter because we're not using keyboard shortcuts so you can be anywhere in the world and as long as you're using an english language version of davinci resolve that's one of the requirements of this pack this pack will work for you and one of the first things you'll need to do is download the free command post software and we have included the link, we'll include the link below, but we also have it in the PDF. And you would go to the download section of the command post and you would download latest release here. Follow the installation instructions to get that installed. And when you do, you'll see that there's a little clipboard icon up in your menu bar. That is the command post icon. Pull down to control services and we're gonna to go to Stream Deck. It will launch the window for us. Now, the one thing I want to point out is that if you have your Stream Deck software running, you will need to quit it because the command post software does not work with the Stream Deck software. It replaces the use of the Stream Deck software and the two can't be running at the same time. So if you're going to be using this pack, you have to keep in mind you need to close and quit the Stream Deck software. And just closing this window isn't enough. That just closes the window. We would need to go up to the Stream Deck menu system up here and quit Stream Deck. That will allow the command post software to then control your Stream Deck device. Okay, so once we're on the, con the control surfaces here, the Stream Deck control surfaces, this section here, you want to make sure these boxes are checked and unchecked as we have them here, enabling Stream Deck support that allows you to control your device automatically switch applications is important because when we switch to DaVinci, this profile that we're going to load will automatically pop up on your device. This isn't as important automatically apply icon from action, but we want to make sure that we deselect preview selected application and bank on hardware. If you have this selected, you won't see the profile loaded on your device. So leave that deselected. Next thing to do is load in the profile that we've included in our pack. Make sure the device you have selected is your Stream Deck XL device. And go to application. You'll see there's a list of applications here. You should find DaVinci Resolve here. If you don't, you can go to add application and in the dialog box, direct the software to your copy, which you should find under DaVinci Resolve. And that's the application there that you would add. But you should find it in the main menu system here. So make sure that's selected so you have your device and DaVinci Resolve. And now we're going to go to import settings 
we are going to select replace and we'll navigate to our download from Sideshow FX into the profile folder and we will double click this to load it into our command post software and you'll see it appears here. Now we've built 38 pages of commands for you. Most of what we have in our original Stream Deck XL pack is available. There are just a few items due to command post limitations that we haven't been able to include such as transform controls and node trees but other than that most of the functions have been made available to you. So now when you switch to DaVinci Resolve this will appear on your device and you can begin using it. That's all that's required for the setup. You're all set to go. As always, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.